Okay, in this lesson we're going to talk about some interview questions. And so I've put together some samples from various interviews that I've done and, and interview questions that I've had on file for quite some time. And we'll go through these and give you an idea of the types of questions you'll be asked in an interview and the kind of responses you need to think about um, for those different types of questions. So let's go ahead and get started. So to kind of group these together, I, I've, I've put these in terms of categories of questions, the types of questions that you're going to get asked in an interview. So the, the first category is really some general questions about your background and yourself. The, the, whether it's a single person interviewing you or a panel of people, they're going to want to know about your background in, in a couple of different ways. And for each of these categories, I'll go through uh, some samples of each one of these buckets of questions. The next one is really some general technical questions and in, in, in terms of the type of technologies that they're uh, asking for in the interview. So you'll they'll want to know some things about that. And then some detailed questions, specifics about the types of technologies that they're interviewing for. And then the last bucket is really some general questions about your work style and how you interact and work with other programmers, managers, and people on your team. And oftentimes programmers will look at concentrating on just technical questions and not putting much detail on kind of the general questions that they get asked in interviews. And you really need to pay almost more attention to those teamwork aspects because uh, due to the type of work that software development is, you need to work very closely with other people and showing the, the good teamwork skills and good communication skills is, is a critical thing. So let's go ahead and look at some general background questions. Some of the questions they might ask is tell us about your background. They'll want to know what kind of education you have, what, what types of employment you've had. And it's best to really sit down and kind of have this organized in your mind before the interview so that you're not kind of rambling through a, a story that you have something thought out in your mind. The next question is describe your background with software development. So. Um, if you don't have a ton of software development background or you're applying for your first job, you can mention the types of things that you've done in your self-training, other kinds of uh, development efforts that you've had. If you've taken some classes, mention those. Mention the types of projects you've worked on. Next question, describe your experience with C-sharp development. This would be for a particular language whatever they're hiring so this might be Java or PHP or Ruby whatever type of, of environment that you're looking for next one describe your experience with developing web-based systems again <clears throat> uh, you'll want to talk about uh, the kinds of projects that you've built for web-based projects uh, or maybe a general question of tell us about your mobile um, experience you know with developing mobile systems it just depends on the type of job that you're interviewing for but these are the general types of background questions that you'll get <laughs> general technical questions you're going to get a series of questions so that the panel or person interviewing you can understand your where you are in your technical uh, path in your career so the first question I have is describe a code review and why is a code review a required part of the development process? So in, in this example, they're looking for somebody who, um, uh, an answer that, that you understand what a code review is, why it's important, what are the elements of a code review, why it's important to have other people look at your code and how that improves the quality of code. So this is just an example of kind of a, a more detailed question after a general question about your background. The next question I have is explain a service-oriented architecture and how does SOA differ from web services? Uh, what factors would you consider, consider when utilizing web services? So these are the types of questions where they're going to get more general about do you understand what a web service is and a service-oriented architecture? And I'll talk about this in the summary slide, but if you don't know the answer to these things, it's best to just say, you know, I haven't been exposed to that. Or if you do know a little bit about it, but you might expand on, uh, you know, you understand what a web service is, but maybe you don't understand a service-oriented architecture. But 
the the thing I recommend is don't try to make up an answer or fake it. It'll it, it will really leave a bad impression with your your interviewer. So it, it's perfectly fine to say you know I haven't been exposed to that concept. I, I you know I I really don't know the answer. So the next group is you, they'll drill down in, into even more technical um, questions to understand your level of knowledge of the particular technologies they're looking for in an interview. So. Uh, what is a stored procedure and what are the advantages of using one? So this is a database question. Um, they'll want to know if you've actually used a particular product. Uh, perhaps they're looking for somebody using Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle. In that case, they'll, they'll want to know uh, how you build an Oracle stored procedure or a Microsoft SQL Server stored procedure and the mechanics of how you do it. They have a short time to kind of judge your technical depth. On particular products and using them so next question on here is what is an object and what is a class what's the difference between the two so in this sample question they're looking for your knowledge of object-oriented programming and really the fundamentals of object-oriented programming in terms of uh, objects and a class and an object being an instantiated member of a class so they're looking for kind of uh, you know that uh, deeper level uh, understanding and they may ask for a particular implementation in something like C Sharp or Java and then some mechanics around that. Uh, what are some recommended best practices to optimize store procedure performance? Again if, if you're interviewing as a full stack developer you'll be expected to understand database development as well. So that's another question where they're gonna look for knowledge of what are the advantages of stored procedures and, and uh, knowledge of database structure. The next question, explain how you would standardize exception handling from multi-tiered uh, .NET applications on an enterprise-wide basis. This is a little bit more of an advanced question, probably not for an entry-level interview, but it's the type of thing that you may get asked if they're trying to probe what your specific knowledge is or your more general knowledge of building larger applications. The last question is what does the GAC stand for and how is it used? What are some of the requirements for uh, use of the GAC? This is a .NET concept and it's GAC stands for the Global Assembly Cache. So it's just an example if you're applying for a .NET job they'll want to know some of the basic .NET components and how they function together. So an example uh, this is a, a .NET specific kind of example, but again, if you're applying for a particular job that has a .NET experience, these are the types of questions that you can expect. Work style and teamwork, almost all interviews uh, include some type of more general questions on how you work with the team. And the first question is, what was your most successful project and why was that project successful? So these types of questions are looking for how well you work with the team, uh, how, how you do goal setting, how you manage time and priorities, which feeds into the next question, how do you manage time and priorities uh, to meet critical deadlines? So they're looking for your self-management skills, um, how you can prioritize and work in a chaotic environment. Software development shops are often very uh, busy places with lots of priorities going on, development work and also support of current releases and uh, production fixes and you know, the crisis of the day kind of thing, and they want to know how you deal with those types of things. So those are the general buckets of, of questions that you might get asked. Um, my tips for this are to spend some time preparing before your interview so you're ready to respond in these different areas so that when you're asked these types of questions, you've had the responses thought out in your mind, particularly about your background. It may be more difficult to anticipate the technical questions that you're going to get asked, but you can certainly under have your kind of work history or education history all lined up and ready to go in your mind so that you're not kind of fumbling through those on the fly. Again, if you don't know the answer, simply admit it and try to move on. Don't fake it. Faking it could really dig you a hole in an interview that's tough to get out of. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, be ready to respond to the non-technical questions about your background. They're very important. Again, don't, don't kind of blow those off and say, oh, well, it's not that important. They really want to know about, you know, how how much I understand about the mechanics of C Sharp or Java. That's important, but it's not all of the job. A large portion of your job will be interacting with the team, fixing problems, and interacting with all kinds of people, 
both uh, middle management, senior management, you know, who knows? And, and, and like I say, software development shops are very active places and just being able to code is, is not enough. Uh, I'm attaching some sample uh, questions to this lesson that will go into more detail and give you an idea. I'll also put some links uh, in, in the attachments as well to uh, sample interview questions in, in different areas such as C Sharp, Java, and maybe the LAMP stack as well. I'll try to keep those current. Sometimes the uh, websites change. And if you have any um, suggestions of types of questions you have, please submit those in the class form. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson.